the locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultist had been keeping imprisoned here, I managed to break out. There was some shooting, but at least I got out alive. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. So maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? <laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged jug. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could re You're alive. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artem, a moment. Thank you, Artem. Artem, if not stop for you, we'd never have escaped that place. The they were so busy looking for you. for you. And then Anna put that up. Great job saving them, Artem. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yaramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> And don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it.
There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you yet from? A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place under Volga, so we need to join you.
You pretty amazing, братуха. That was crazy. Блин, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Блин, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Now, oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, blip. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. So, if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So, help yourself. You can have anything you like. Can't carry all the shit anyway. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, I gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. Stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Let's go buy some smoke from the villages before the assholes chase me away. 
Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. With them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs> now, you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. Uh, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast, well, that's another story, though. Artyom, where's Anna? Has she been found? But why? She didn't just sink into the ground. I hope Anna is alright. Oh, 
Don't you worry, Kasha. Our people will find her soon. Yes, hello, Atium. Perhaps you can find Anna. We are all quite worried about her here. Sure, she can take care of herself. Found my daughter yet? No. No! What are you doing here then? Go find her! The Mir and Sam should be there soon. Leave no stone unturned. If you don't find her in half an hour, expand the search area. I hope no one else finds her first. 